Hello everyone, the Femme Fantel Readathon has begun. I very briefly read some of Cassandra last night when it turned midnight, but I didn't read that much before I fell asleep. I read 20 pages. <laughs> Reading Cassandra might take longer than I realised because it is a really thin book, but it's got this kind of like literary style to it where you kind of have to read it slowly and kind of break it down to understand what it's talking about sometimes. So maybe this wasn't the best pick for a readathon, but I'm still hoping to get through it anyway. This one won't stop yelling. So here he is. <laughs> but it's currently just before 5 pm on Saturday, which is the first day of the readathon, and I have finished reading Tangleweed and Brine. I spent most of this afternoon reading this between like going food shopping and doing other random stuff. And I rated this four stars. I really enjoyed this. It's really quite dark, but I liked how Deidre Sullivan changed the stories and it wasn't always immediately recognisable or it wasn't always easy to like pinpoint which fairy tale it started off with. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't, but you didn't always know which fairy tale you were going into and I really enjoyed trying to figure out which fairy tale I was reading and just the way that they were changed made them really enjoyable. Like a huge part of this book makes the characters from the fairy tales witches. Like the majority of the well-known characters that we know end up being witches. And I just, oh, I just really enjoyed the like dark witchy vibe that this had and how the stories were adapted. And also it has some really stunning illustrations alongside. So yeah, as I said, it's currently about 5pm and I'm just about to subtitle a video for Sunday and then probably have some food and then I'll try and read some more of Cassandra but like I said, it's quite slow going so if I don't quite get into a rhythm with this one I might pick up How Long Till Black Future Month by Jemison. But we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm quite intrigued to see how much I read during this readathon because I do have to like start planning an essay and do uni reading and I'm not going to be at home all of the days so we'll see. <laughs> I am going to put a page count at the end of the vlog so you can see how much I did manage to read and do like a small wrap up as well so yeah. But I will update you when I have more news. So it's now a bit later on and I got to page 51 in Cassandra and I think I'm going to leave it for tonight because this book is so slow to read. It's taken a while to wrap my head around it because it's written in quite a I don't know it's kind of it feels whimsical but on a grander scale and as I said earlier you kind of have to break it down to read it sometimes but I am really enjoying it but I think for now because I'm feeling a bit like fidgety and like I need to move a bit I'm going to go and get a coffee and a donut and I think I'm going to watch a few booktube videos because I always find that they motivate me to read more in one of those like paradoxical ways where they distract me from reading but make me want to read so <laughs> but yeah and then after I've done that for about an hour maybe I will start how long till black future month because I've been wanting to read this for so long and I feel like it's going to be easier to get through than Cassandra and also I just want to make sure that I read like a full book during this readathon because both Tangleweed and Brine and Cassandra are really short, so yeah. Hi. Hello.
everyone, it is now day two of the Femme Fantail readathon and I have somehow found myself in the middle of like four different books <laughs> because this morning I decided to start reading The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden and that's basically just because I have an audiobook for it so while I'm while I was getting ready I basically just decided to start reading, listening to it and also I'm going out in about 20 minutes so I'm meeting up with my friend Charlotte I will try and vlog some of it but I don't know how much footage I'll get and because I'm going to be out for most of the afternoon I won't do as much reading as I did yesterday but I will be walking into town to meet her so I thought if I downloaded the audiobook then I could listen to it on the way yeah I've started The Bear and the Nightingale now I've read about 50 pages and I think while I'm out I'm going to get the sequels to this, so the second and third book, because I need to actually finish series, so I'm hoping to just like read them all possibly throughout March, it might take a bit longer. But I do have a Waterstones gift card from my birthday, so I think this is what's going to go on. I'm really enjoying it already actually, but I can't quite put my finger on why, but that's probably because, like I said, I'm only 50 pages in, so. <laughs> But yes, at the minute I've ended up in the middle of four different books because I have Noughts and Crosses for University, The Bear and the Nightingale, How Long Till Black Future Month and Cassandra. <laughs> so that's intense but whatever. But yeah, I'm going to get ready to go out and meet Charlotte. It is raining because of course it is. I swear we've not had rain for ages but the second I actually want to go and spend a day out then it rains. But whatever. Hello there! So it's now Sunday evening and I had a lovely day out with Charlotte. We kind of just like had food and went shopping. I ended up buying some books with a voucher that I got for my birthday. I'm not going to show you which books though because I am doing a book haul probably at the end of March so you'll see them then. But I got back quite a few hours ago and I haven't done much reading since. I've probably only read about 20 pages of How Long Till Black Future Month. And then this morning with the Brown the Nightingale audiobook I managed to get to page 70. So I've only read about 90 pages and honestly I'm just giving it up for today because my brain's like, I feel tired but not tired in a go to sleep way, it's just that I can't be bothered to use much brain power anymore way. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So yeah, today's not been a very successful readathon day, but oh well, I've got like a week, so fingers crossed the readathon won't be like a complete fail. <laughs> so it's currently Tuesday evening, which makes it day four of the readathon, and I'm sorry I didn't update you yesterday because I just kind of had a day. <laughs> it was not a good day yesterday but I did manage to do some reading. I read about maybe 70-80 pages of How Long Till Black Future Month by Jemison and I am really enjoying this. I'm getting into it a lot more now. It's a collection of short stories so it's kind of like I don't have to wait to get into a story but I feel like I'm a lot more used to Jemison's writing now so it's just I'm able to kind of get into her stories quicker which is always good when it's a short story. <laughs> I also read about 50 pages of The Baron the Nightingale via audiobook on my way to and from university and again I'm really really loving this one. It's it's just so magical but like quite dark as well and the audiobook is really good because the narrator puts on like Russian accents and it's just, it's good. I think I am pausing this one for now though until the end of the week because I'm going to be travelling on trains and 
just stuff like that. So I think the audiobook will be better suited for the end of the week and I'm also buddy reading this with Lily over at Lily Eleanor Reads and I actually forgot about that for a moment so I did start it before letting her know that I was and I'm just gonna let her catch up with me a little bit before continuing. But as far as updates go that's pretty much it because for today I have been at university all day. This week is just weird because it is a reading week but we had to go into university for around the same amount of time anyway because yesterday we had a module choice fair and I've now chosen the modules that I will be studying next year at university and then today I had an essay writing session and also a dissertation information session in which they just talked about our dissertations because that's what we're doing next year. I'm sorry if you can hear my phone in the background <laughs> but I'm very excited because I've discovered I can actually write about the topic that I really desperately wanted to do for my dissertation and I didn't think I'd be able to so I'm very happy that that's worked out. I'm not going to say what it is yet because I don't want to jinx anything and there's also been some other like event kind of things that's happened today which again I'm not going to mention because I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> so I have been at university pretty much all day and even though I've not been in lectures I'm quite tired now. I am going to be doing reading but I need to read notes and crosses for university so unfortunately that doesn't count towards this readathon but I do need to do it so I'm not actually doing any reading towards the readathon on day four today. <laughs> I'm hoping that tomorrow evening I can pick up some more of How Long Till Black Future Month. I don't think I'll read too much during the day because I am going to be working on an essay. Oh those joyous things. <laughs> Hopefully in the evening I can take some kind of downtime and hopefully I won't be too tired so that I can read How Long Till Black Future Month because I really want to make some headway in that or maybe Cassandra I'm not sure one of them day four has not been a readathon day It is now, I mean, I guess it's Friday, but I'm still classing it as Thursday. Yeah, so it's currently about half past 12 at night, which is probably why I look a bit dead. <laughs> and I just thought I'd give you a quick update because I'm now halfway through both Cassandra and The Baron the Nightingale. I've gotten a lot more into Cassandra now. I think I've gotten used to how it's written, so I'm, it's still a slow read, like it's a very, very slow read, but yeah, I've gotten into it, I've gotten used to how it's written and I'm really enjoying it. The same kind of goes for The Baron the Nightingale actually, it's a very slow moving book, like things are happening but I don't know, it's almost like a lullaby, like that word just popped into my head. I don't know, to me it just feels like a fairy tale and it's inspired by Russian folklore so it works. <laughs> it very much has the kind of tropes that I associate with fairy tales, so like the um, absent mother being replaced by a different woman and also all the different creatures and the darkness behind it. Yeah, it feels very much like a fairy tale and I love it. So for the rest of this weekend, I don't know how much vlog footage I'm going to get because I'm going to be away from home from tomorrow until Sunday, which is when the readathon ends. So I think I might just try and do a few clips and make a kind of montage of the weekend and then update you on Sunday when it's the end of the readathon on what I actually managed to read and a page count and all that fun stuff. But I think I'll be taking The Bear and the Nightingale with me and listening to that with the help of my audiobook. So hopefully I should get that finished and I'll also be taking Notes and Crosses which isn't part of the readathon but I do need to read it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't tend to read much when I'm away from home so I don't know how the rest of this readathon is going to go. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi guys, so it's now Monday evening and I did end this vlog yesterday when I was meant to at the end of the readathon but the file has corrupted so I now need to refilm that part. And yes, I have had my hair cut today so I look different from the rest of this vlog. <laughs> But yes, it's now the end of the Femme Fantail readathon and I managed to read three and a half books, which is a little bit, like, intense for me. <laughs> I am really happy with how this readathon went because I usually read like one or two books a week, like two books in a week is a good week for me. So reading three and a half and having them all four stars or above, it was a good week. <laughs> So to talk through the books that I read, the first one that I completed was Tangleweed and Brine by Deirdre Sullivan. These are dark retellings based on the brave and resilient heroines of the stories. I absolutely love this. It's quite a short read and it's full of absolutely gorgeous illustrations. I loved how the stories were twisted and you weren't always guaranteed to have the ending that you recognised. Or sometimes it would take some time to recognise which story it was retelling. I just absolutely loved that because it still felt new despite being very old stories. This was just so dark and intriguing and I loved it so I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. And this helped me complete the fairy tale retelling challenge. The next one I finished reading was How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. This is a collection of short fantasy stories and they all kind of interweave problems like social issues into the stories as well so a lot of it is to do with race and again I rated this one four stars I really enjoyed this one it took me a little while to get used to Jemison's writing style but once I did I found it a lot easier to get into as with most short story collections I didn't get along with all the stories but I did get along with the majority of them I just found this to be quite an interesting commentary on the world and on society without being set in our world it was really quite strange to recognise a world but now it's a fantasy world. It's very, I don't know, it was quite uncomfortable but it was meant to be, so yeah. And this book was for the Challengers, a BAME author and an adult book. I then read The Burn the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I read this at the same time as listening to the audiobook, so I got so invested in the story. This is based off Russian folklore and it's about a f it kind of focuses on a family and the kind of nanny of the family I guess. She's known for telling folk tales to the children but the main character of this Varsha can actually see the creatures from the folk tales and it's just oh this is so again just dark but magical and it just captures the fairy tale feel perfectly. I feel like it's quite a slow moving book but that definitely didn't hinder anything for me. And like I said, because I was listening to it through the audiobook at the same time as reading it, because it like had two of my senses engaged, I got so invested in this book and come the end, I ended up crying. I didn't show it in the vlog because I wasn't at home, but yeah, <laughs> I ended up crying. I really, really enjoyed this book and I rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars. And this can also fit into the fairy tale challenge and young adult book. The book that I read half of was Cassandra by Crystal Wolf. This is a Greek myth retelling of Cassandra who is King Priam's daughter and she has the gift of prophecy but she's also cursed so that nobody believes her. This one, even though it's really quite short, I have only read 100 pages of it and that's just because, as I've been saying throughout this vlog, it is quite a slow read. I was going to try and finish it last night because I have only got 100 pages in it and usually I can do that but I just... Last night I was feeling slumpy and I don't want to force myself to rush to finish it. I want to be able to kind of savour the story instead. So I didn't finish this one but I'm still counting it because I've read half of it. And so this goes towards three challenges which are a standalone book, translated fiction and a Greek myth retelling. So I can't remember how many of the challenges that I've actually complete. I'll put it up here. But with these four books I've managed to read 1077 pages in the past nine days which that's a lot. <laughs> but I have actually read more than that because outside of the readathon I have also read I think 300, yeah 324 pages of Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. This is a dystopian so it doesn't count towards the readathon but I'm reading this one for university and I just thought I'd mention that as well since we were talking about page counts because I've nearly finished this one 
at the same time as reading all those. <laughs> So yes, that's the end of this readathon. Please let me know if you took part in this and if you've got your own vlog or your own content about the readathon, then please do link it down below and I'd love to check it out. If you took part, then I'd love to know how many books you read or pages or just come and chat to me about what you read. If you've read any of the books that I've mentioned in this video, then again, come and let me know your thoughts on them. And yeah, as for now, that's the end of this vlog. So I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye.